Hey guys, it's Elite Kicks back here with our weekly Monday video. Before I jump into today's video, which we are going to talk about algorithms, I just want to send out a quick thank you to everybody. Um, in the last video, I asked you guys, hey, help me get to 100 subs, and we have passed that threshold. We have passed the goal for 2021. 2022 is on the horizon. The goal is to get keep growing the channel so we can get this information out to all the sneakerheads, anybody who's looking to cop for retail. With that, guys, let's get into today's video. Today's video, guys, is going to be about algorithms. Algorithms and algorithms. And the reason algorithms are so important is that every sneaker store, whether it's sneakers, flex, finish line, JD Sports, Snipes, Hibbits, they all use algorithms. You have to understand what the goal of the algorithm is in order to increase your chances, okay? The first thing I wanna start off by saying is that with any algorithm, it is so complex that you can never really guarantee a 100% hit. The only exception to that was the old flex algorithm, which was simply that if you have the most points, you're gonna win. They obviously got rid of that very simple algorithm and it's much more complex. So guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about what are our algorithms, we're gonna talk about why they're important, and we're gonna talk a little bit about how to understand them so that I can give you guys the knowledge you need to increase your chances. Now, I put out a video a couple weeks ago, a month or two ago, and I've talked about sneakers, talked about flex, talked about JD, about tips and tricks. Uh, those are tips and tricks that I have that work for, for me and that probably work for you guys as well. But in this video, we're gonna take a much broader approach about understanding them so that we can develop additional tips and tricks so that everyone can hit. So, what is an algorithm? An algorithm is effectively a set of rules that are put together, or it's a sequence of rules that are put together uh, in order to accomplish some sort of goal. So for example, let's take sneakers, right? Sneakers has a number of factors that they put in. The goal is who are we going to pick, right? So the question is really, what are those factors in sneakers? Or even if it's flex, what are those factors in flex? Finish line JD Sports, what are those factors in finish line JD Sports to get exclusive access? And that re leads to the second point. Why is, why is understanding an algorithm so important? Guys, it's simple. It's going to increase your chances to actually hitting. If you're simply just going randomly, picking a random size, doing this randomly, or not doing, not showing no activity, you're, you're basically shooting yourself in the foot. You're not understanding what you actually have to do. And a lot of people just do that. They just randomly enter, they just randomly do this, what I'm here to tell you guys is that if you guys continue the randomness, you're just, you're going to stick with the five to 10% chance of hitting versus actually increasing your chances all the way to 50 to 60%. So we talked a little bit about what are algorithms. We talked a little bit about why they're important. And let me just, I can't emphasize this enough is that understanding algorithms is going to under, increase your chances to improve. So how do you understand algorithms? Whether it's sneakers, or it's flex, or it's finish line JD Sports, you have to look for clues on the, the launch of their uh, releases, on the sneakers launch, or the finish line launch, or the flex launch, about what the algorithm is trying to accomplish. So I'm gonna give you guys an example that will kind of clarify what I'm talking about here. Let's take a look at sneakers, okay? The goal of sneakers, the sneakers algorithm, is the primary goal of it, and sneakers has actually had information about this too, and this is how I figured out, is to kind of hook you into continuing to buy off of sneakers to continue to buy off the Nike app. Uh, unfortunately, it's like a form of like gambling, like you win once and they wanna bring you back in, okay? So what does that mean, okay? That means that if you are a new user, your chances of hitting are actually going to be higher because the idea is is that okay you've you've uh, once they give you the W like oh I caught a W here all right let me keep trying this let me keep trying it again let me spend on this let me do this okay that's a simple way of looking at the sneakers algorithm but that is what sneakers is trying to accomplish the second thing the sneakers algorithm is trying to accomplish is to give you those W's so you continue to spend increase your spending. Okay, so 
increase your spending or, in, or increase your activity on the app, all right? So it's almost like they want you to get hooked to the sneakers app, okay? Uh, so just to break this down a little bit further, a couple of months ago or a year or so ago, there was this tip out there like, oh, if you watch the videos, if you just let it run, it will increase your chances. The problem with that tip is that that's not what Sneakers was actually looking for. Sneakers was actually looking for engagement on their app. Okay, so you're looking at it, all right? You're, you're flipping through, just treating it like normal social media, and maybe then you're Googling about it. Unfortunately, your, your, your phone tracks everything. All right, guys, like I can't emphasize that enough. So looking at sneakers, remember their goals are um, keeping or getting new users hooked and the old users continuing to make them spend more and to have their activity increased on the app. You can look at it, look at this the same way you look at Flex and Finish Line JD Sports. Now, Flex is kind of unknown because they're changing their algorithm actually almost every quarter, every month or so. No one really knows and they're being smart about it because by changing their algorithm, no one knows what it is. Some people are like, oh, you got to buy more or you got to be right or you got to spend more right before the release. No one knows what it is and they're being smart about it because what's happening then is people are actually spending more, which is exactly their goal. But Finish Line and JD Sports, their goal is to reward the, the sort of the everyday shopper and they put out so much information about this that they don't want bots hitting they have they actually have policies about um, not selling to resellers if you guys don't know this they actually have a policy about this and this is not a joke that's why sometimes when you walk into finish line JD sports they may ask you if you're a reseller because they can limit what you're buying so when you think of finish line JD sports what they're trying to accomplish is like you're the everyday, you know, you, you're basically using Finish Line JD Sports as the go-to for sneakers apparel. They're trying to reward those users with exclusive access. So there are certain things you can do that I put out in my tips and tricks uh, to increase your chances. But guys, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Just understanding algorithms is so, so, so important. No one on YouTube actually talks about this. They just put out tips and tricks and that's not the end of the story the tips and tricks are great so long as you're doing them correctly but this video is really designed to help you guys out there understand how algorithms work so that you don't have to rely on other people you can use this information to help develop tips and tricks on your own as that is the video for today next week we're going to talk about you know something that I think is going to help a lot of people cop in person is, is really understanding how to cop at physical stores, malls, uh, standalone finish lines, foot lockers, just understanding that process because you really need to understand a number of things. You need to understand the employees, the stocks, you need to become friendly with everybody. And we're just really going to put out in some informational content about this is what you need to do to cop at the mall because I, I have to admit it is becoming 10 times harder to cop in person. But I'm going to put out some information that will greatly increase your chances. Guys, this is Elite Kicks signing off. Uh, happy holidays and take care, everybody.